So like most of us, I have a million things going on in my life all at once. For my day job, I work nine to five as a developer advocate in big tech. I'm also a content creator and I'm getting married very soon. And that's why I'm so happy that three years ago, I found Notion because I use it for literally everything to keep my life on track and organized. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I'm using Notion to manage my work, my content and course creation, as well as my very hectic life. But first we should probably answer the question, what is Notion? Just in case this is your first time hearing about it. So Notion is essentially a productivity note-taking app, but it goes way beyond that and you can use it for writing content plans, lesson plans, taking notes, remembering memories, and so much more. That's why it's really hard to get like a concise definition of what Notion is because it varies from person to person. So I'm just gonna hop over into my Notion and show you what I got going on. So this is the page I see when I open my Notion. Welcome to my Notion. And I'm gonna walk you through uh, what we're seeing here starting with the top left. So on the left-hand side, you see which Notion you're in. You have the basic features available to you like search, update, settings and members, and then new page, which we'll use in just a second. And then going further down, you have your favorites category where you can store your favorite pages. Um, I have content creation. The script I'm reading off of right now for this video is right here. And then there's also a private section that you can store private pages that you don't want to share with other people. So now we can head over to the right a bit to the main area of Notion. Um, this right here is a breadcrumb so you can keep track of where you are because Notion is a bunch of pages within pages. So that is super helpful to know where you're at. And speaking of pages within pages, that's essentially what this content creation thing is. It's just one page with a bunch of different pages inside of it. Now we're not gonna go through every single page in my Notion cause we'd be here all day, but I will take you through uh, some of my favorite pages that I use daily to keep my life and my business and my uh, finances on track. But before we hop into how I'm applying these pages and whatnot to my life, I just wanna talk about the basics, Notion 101 really quick. So if you head to the top left, you can click new page and then you can create a page from scratch. We can say things to do. And then you can come down here and then maybe make a list. I gotta mow, I gotta eat, I gotta sleep. Too easy. So that's the first and most basic way to make a page, but you can also um, make a new page and then also choose from a template. So templates are templates that other people have made. Either a creator made it or Notion made it. And they will be available in this area right here. So once upon a time, I was in the military and before we did anything in the military, we had to reference the standard operating procedure for that task. And Notion has a template for standard operating procedures. Who could have guessed? So you can click this get template button and then it will generate a standard operating procedure template. And from here, this is a pretty basic template. It has a table of contents on the right that I can click through has an information about the page that I'm on right here, and then a table, and then a link to a Miro diagram that tells me more about the process of my standard operating procedure. So pretty simple uh, SOP, and that's how you can get access and start using templates. So a template that I use on the regular is from a guy named Ali Abdal. He's the YouTube productivity person, and he created a template that helps me create videos. It goes through a production, <laughs> a production checklist, publishing checklist, and then also um, tells you how to shape the story, like who's the character, what do they want, because all videos and things like that are stories. Anyway, that's a template that I use a ton to help me um, create good YouTube videos. Pages and creating pages from templates are kind of like the primitives, the core pieces of functionality in Notion. And since we have an understanding of that, let's move on to the 102 level how to use keyboard shortcuts and tips and tricks that I use every day to speed up my Notion workflow. So I'm gonna head over here to my favorite section and then click keyboard shortcuts. I'm gonna walk you through the basics. I use these literally, I'm telling you, every day. So the first keyboard shortcut is page finder and you can use this with command K and you can search for all the pages within Notion. Pretty simple, but very helpful. And the next is code blocks. I mentioned I'm a software developer, so I use this pretty frequently. You can use three back ticks like so, and then it will generate this and it will actually auto detect which language you're typing in and then convert the syntax highlighting to that. So you can alert in JavaScript, like, and subscribe. There you go. So next up, this left window pane has a lot of information on it. Fantastic information, I love it. But uh, sometimes it's a bit overwhelming and I don't need all of it. So to hide that, I can press Command and Backslash. 
boom, more space. So if you're within a document and it has a ton of text within it, you can press Command F as in Foxtrot, and you can search through that document that you're currently in. A quick way to find the perfect emoji is by typing colon and then let's say apple. And then there you go. You got an emoji of an apple or thumbs up. You already know. There's limitless possibilities. Well, there's probably a limit to it, but I don't know it. So next up, we have the mighty forward slash, and it's probably one of my favorite commands because it opens up a ton of options. So just by typing forward slash, I get this little window where I can make a page, a to-do list, different headings, a table. There's a bunch of stuff that you can make just by writing forward slash, but typically I use it to make a page um, and I'll say nested page. And there we go. I very quickly just created a nested page uh, basically in the blink of an eye, super fast. So there you go. That's a pretty fast way to make things, pages, uh, headings, tables, just by typing forward slash. Next up, we have the bullet point. All you need to do for this is to write minus and space, and then you have a bullet point. And after that, you can just press enter. Too easy. So like I mentioned before, in Notion, you can have pages within pages, and it's pretty easy to get lost in the sauce. So an easy way I like to use to navigate forward and backwards from pages is using command in either back bracket to go back or forward bracket to go forward. And since this is a page, if something is hard to read, command plus to increase the size, command minus to decrease the size. If you're ever creating a to-do list or checkbox, you can do so pretty simply by using the left bracket followed by the right bracket and then a space and then you go. And then if you press enter, you have multiple checkboxes. And last but not least, we have headings, which is just a way to make small, medium, and large text pretty simply. Um, you can do the forward slash and then find the headings, but that's a lot of clicking and moving around. The easiest way that I found to create different sizes of headings is just using the octothorpe or the pound key and then pressing a space. So that will get you a heading one. So this is a large heading. Two pounds will get you a medium. And then three pounds will get you a uh, small heading. And there you go. Those are my favorite keyboard shortcuts and tips and tricks that I use to navigate Notion at the speed of light. Now, some of these features, unfortunately, I won't be using as much anymore because Notion just launched a new wave of artificial intelligence integrations directly within Notion. The first one you can find in this bottom right corner over here, and this is Ask AI. So sometimes I legitimately like lose pages and forget I even have them. So you can ask it pretty simple questions since it's in beta, like where is my new video template? This is helpful because I create a new video checklist template all the time. And then the Ask AI Assistant will crawl through all of your Notion and then find the answer for you. In this case, it's in the content creation page. Who would have thunk? Another way I've been using Notion's AI integrations is to summarize things. Uh, I've been listening to a bunch of audio, well, six audiobooks this year, and I take notes on all of the audiobooks. So I can pretty simply just write spacebar and say, summarize this and it will give me a summary of all the notes that I've taken because these are really crappy notes. So the last way that I'm using Notion's Ask AI functionality is actually to create my coding course. I have a intro to web development course that people have asked me to make and that I've been procrastinating. But with Notion like Ask AI, it's been really simple to expand upon like the course and the content that I want to create. It's, it's pretty good. So to get started, I can just press spacebar and then I can write define and give code examples of the most used HTML tags. Perfect. Now this is good, but I want actually code representations of it so I can ask it to generate code examples of all of these, please. So just within like 60 seconds, I'm actually able to get most of the content that I want to talk about in my course with a little bit of code examples, and then I can refine this and tweak it with my human touch to make it my course. Huzzah! So next up, I want to talk about the two pages that I use every single day to keep this content creation thing working. This year, I was so blessed to bring in six figures worth of income for this hobby, this content creation. And while that's amazing, it takes a lot of like, planning and coordination to make that happen and I do all of it on these two pages primarily. Now the first page that I use a ton is Content Planner. I use this literally every single day to jot down ideas and track the status of all of the types of content that I'm posting. 
and it boils down to this. So I have a backlog. This is the board version and board view of my content planner. Uh, backlog of all the ideas that I could do. I have validated ideas that I'm actually really gonna get started with. And then more importantly, I have the videos that I am working on. The script's complete, it's ready to film. I've filmed it, it's with an editor. I gotta review it and then I can post it. So there's a lot of steps to create one single video and every single one of these steps is like a, a card or an icon. So right before shooting this video, I actually completed the script so it can come over here. But let's open up this video, which is how I manage my six-figure side hustle with Notion. Bit of a cringy title, but we'll rock with it. Up top, it has a bunch of metadata about this video. That includes like the video's content type. And for this, it's kind of like consumer tech and lifestyle. I also have like vlogs and sketches and podcasts and admin stuff that I have up here. And then we have the date that I want to get it to the next step, which for me is December 31st, which platform it's going to be used on. I have different platforms from YouTube, TikTok, Reels, Stories, Twitter, Instagram. Is it sponsored? If so, I can add a quick bit of sponsor details here. I want to give this to the sponsors, which in this case is Notion itself. This video is sponsored by Notion, by the way. I'm not sure I mentioned that. Uh, so I want to give it to Notion by January 4th. I can hit this button right here to show that it's sponsored. And then once it's published, I can hit publish and then it's done. So right beneath the details of this video is the script for the actual video itself. So here's where I'll write like what goes in and the words that I want to say to make this video because uh, contrary to popular belief, I can't remember 45 minutes worth of words from my head. I need a little bit of an outline. Now, not a lot of people like this view because it's a lot. For me, it's comfortable. I can understand what's going on because it's like a Kanban board. So I have other views that I can view um, that make it a bit cleaner. So if someone else was to come and look at this board, they could say, what videos are you actually working on right now? They can switch the view to all posts and then they can filter it to like what is actually being worked on. This is the filter that they can use. And then that'll give them a more <laughs> refined version of my really chaotic content planner. It makes sense in my head. Now there's also a calendar view that sometimes I like to use, but uh, as you can see, I'm not the most consistent YouTuber out there. So uh, it's pretty, pretty bare bones here and I typically never even use the calendar view because post one video a month. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for my video content planner, but there's a lot more that goes into making YouTube videos and posting them than just making videos. And that's why I have another page for admin tasks. And this page right here is the not so fun page. Like why am I getting randomly billed for my LLC? Um, I also do some thinking here about the type of brand direction that I wanna pivot to. And the very best part about this page here is that I don't manage it. My fiance is my brand manager and she actually handles all of the admin that goes into emailing companies and negotiating brand deals and making sure that videos get on at time and handling taxes. So she's super helpful because creating content in like a silo by yourself gets super draining. So these little uh, chat box icons that you see in the bottom left, it's actually us just talking back and forth. And while I could, just walk across the hall and talk to her. Hey babe, do you remember my YouTube password? Hey, do you think this would be a good TikTok idea? Hey babe. Ain't nobody got time for that. The ability to share other pages with other people and bring them into your workspace is just such a game changer because when I started, I was doing all of this myself and it got super overwhelming all of the time. So the fact that it's really easy to communicate and have other people manage different parts of your notion I love it. Helps so much. The very last thing I'll talk about is how I use Notion to manage job hunting. Two years ago when I was looking for my first job in tech, it was incredibly stressful. So I created this board. I had interviews lined up with just a ton of companies like Discord, Figma, Slack, Google, New York Times, Meta. That is a lot to manage all by yourself in your head and you have to make sure you're replying to people in a timely manner because you want to look good in front of these companies that you're asking to get hired by. And this job board really helped me manage everything I needed to to make sure I was able to not only get multiple offers but to leverage those offers against one another to drive up the total compensation. And the fields that were really helpful were if I applied or not, the job info so I could quickly reference it, also the status of responses for each individual company, if they offered, if they deferred me, rejected me, if I'm under review, or if I need to schedule another interview. And when you have a board like this, it makes managing that crazy hectic process really easy. And it just makes the very, very stressful process of job hopping uh, so much easier. 
And so that's how I'm using Notion to manage my six figure side hustle, my nine to five, as well as my personal life. And it's honestly been a game changer for me and my little business. The best part about Notion is that it's free to get started. And if you want to get started, you can use the link in my description. That's it for this one. As always, I'll see you on the next one. See you.